Hey everybody, this is Ben. Feel the music. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I had almost uh, had this video completed. This is by a thread response video for Steve Carlson in the top 10 of 1976. I had almost got the whole thing done and I had titled it 77. And I was going through all these albums, and I looked down, I happened to look down at one of them at the release, and it said, 1976? What? So I looked at a couple more. 1976? I thought we were doing 77. Oops. So, anyway. <laughs> 1976. I was... A freshman in high school. Little town, 2,000 people. Southeast Nebraska, right outside of Lincoln, little town called Milford. Um, <laughs> yeah, didn't have much to do. To drive around. Eh, probably not in 76 I was driving around yet. Close, maybe. Or I was and wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, whatever. You know that small town stuff. Um, started discovering curls. Um, definitely started discovering some wacky weed, probably. And started discovering lots of great music. Now, a lot of these albums I didn't pick up until later on in my life, but I remember listening to the radio, and I remember hearing them, and so I went back in and then picked them up. Because when I grew up, I didn't have any money. <laughs> my parents didn't have any money. Um, and I think gas was maybe 25, 30 cents a gallon. Yeah, that was expensive. Yep. Cars, 5000 for a brand new car. But, yeah, anyway, kind of digress. This is about music, not about all that other stuff. So, 1976, and I know I'm going to say 77 again, so if I do, I apologize. Lots of good stuff came out 77. <laughs> What did I tell you? A lot of good stuff came out in 76. Anyway, um, these are some honorable mentions. Didn't make my list. Some are, You're kind of going to be surprised on some of them that probably did and then some that didn't. 1976, the Eagles took us on a trip to Hotel California. <laughs> yes, they did. And what a trip it was. All kinds of stories about what Hotel California means. I'm not going to get into that. You can go look all that stuff up for yourself. But what a great album. Top to bottom. Hotel California, New Kid in Town, Life in the Fast Lane, Wasted Years, Wasted Time, sorry, Iron Maiden, sorry. Um, Victim of Love, Pretty Maids All in a Row, Try and Love Again, and The Last Resort. Just a solid album from top to bottom. But didn't make my list. No, nope. sorry. Eagles, Hotel California, 1976. Also, in 1976, Peter Frampton came alive. <laughs> yes, he did. I think I can get the whole shot there. I think this is still the all time best selling live album that has ever been released. Um, there's the, the inside double album. Of course, it contains the um, uh, the song, um, the last song on here. Do you feel like we do? Ah, awesome, awesome track. Anyway, yep, Peter Frampton came alive, 1977, but not for me. Um, also, Steve Miller Band flew like an eagle. Oh, and yes, they did. They just flew right up that chart, you know. 
um, with fly like an eagle, uh, take the money and run and rocking me. Yes, they did. Flew right up that old chart. Steve Miller band, fly like an eagle, honorable mention. Also in 1976, Bob Seger working on his night moves. What's he talking about? Night moves. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, another solid album from 1976. Rock and Roll Never Forgets, title track, Night Moves, um, Main Street, awesome, awesome ballad, coming of age. A lot of this stuff was about coming of age. Um, anyway, yep, growing up in the Midwest, Seeger was a staple. Um, so, yeah, Night Moves, Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band. Um, 1976, also saw this band kind of take a dive, in my opinion, my opinion only. Um, the Doobie Brothers decided to take it to the streets. Um, my opinion, I think they kind of took it to the dump. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just not a fan of the Michael McDonald era of the Doobie Brothers. Um, you know, we all have our opinions, and that's great. That's why we get to do what we get to do. Um, some good, you know, the tracks on here keeps you running, um, taking it to the streets. Wheels of Fortune. Wheels of Fortune isn't a bad song, but uh, I just didn't really like the direction that they went after Michael had taken over. Um, my opinion, but yeah, 1977, Duke Brothers taking it to the street. Shit, there it is. Said it again. 76. Also in 76, Foghat was working the night shift. Another superb album for 76. There's the boys back there. Um, night shift, of course, and uh, Driving Wheel. The awesome song, Get Behind the Wheel or On Your, on your Bike. Yeah, that'll make you speed just a little bit. Um, anyway, Night Shift, Fog Hat. And last but not least, for my honorable mentions, if I can get this thing to work right. Sweet. Oh, look at there. They were giving us a wink. Yes, they did. You know, they don't make albums like this anymore. Just fun stuff, right? Yep. Winking will make you go blind. Mm hmm. Anyway, this, uh, um, this had their, their hit action on it. Killer song. Killer album, actually. Last honorable mention, sweet. Give us a wink. And I could have done many more, probably, honorable mentions and stuff. So let's get into the good stuff. Not that those weren't good, but you know what I mean. My good stuff, top 10. At number 10, band from Seattle. Um, like the first time I heard this, I was with a, a coworker of mine, my first job out of college. Um, and like I said, I went and picked these albums up and stuff. A lot of this stuff after the fact, we you know, a couple years after 76. But I think uh, he was listening to this, and he was listening, and Crazy on You came on. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for those songs that start out slow and stuff, and then they just hit you, right? So, number 10, Heart, Dreamboat Annie. Um, of course, it has Magic Man, Crazy on You, and then the title track. Just another all-around good album. And I'm not much on female vocalists, um, but uh, um, I can never remember if it's Ann or Nancy that sings. But, yeah, anyway, whichever one sings, I like. I wish they would just get over their differences and uh, um, start putting out music again. Great, great album. Number 10, Dreamboat Annie by Heart. 
Um, next, um, I didn't start getting into this band until probably uh, just a few years ago. Um, yeah. And it now shows up on my top 10 of 1976. Um, of course, I knew the hits and stuff like that. Talking about Jailbreak, Thin Lizzy. Uh, still has the uh, In the Shrink wrap and everything. Could get this for $6.49 back in the day. Um, of course, the, the big song on here, The Boys Are Back in Town. Um, Jailbreak, another awesome track, and the Cowboy song. Uh, Phil Linett, Scott Gorham, Brian Downey, and uh, Brian Robertson. Then Lizzie. Um, now I've gotten pretty much all their stuff since. Uh, I kind of dis rediscovered Thin Lizzie. So, number eight. No, number nine. Sorry. Number eight may surprise you, but being from Texas, you know. Tejas, ZZ Top. Mm -hmm. um, 1976. I had to double check myself again. Um, probably, me, probably my favorite ZZ Top album, believe it or not. Yes, it is. There's Dusty and Frank and Billy. There they are doing their thing, right? Um, this album doesn't get much love. Um, but like I said, I think it's one of my it's one of my favorite. I used to play this thing all the time. Um, I think the the hit that was on here that if you call it that was it's only love. But uh, yeah, number eight, Tejas, ZC Top. Number seven goes back to in that vein of uh, slow and building up to a crescendo again. Um, sticks, Crystal Ball, and the song Crystal Ball did it for me. Um, I don't really need to talk much about Sticks. Everybody knows about Sticks. Don't hear people talk about them as much as I figured, thought you would, but you know, kind of proggy and hard rock and all that stuff. Uh, Put Me On was another, was another good song. Put me on, I'm your brand new record album. Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, only seven songs on here. But, uh, yep, number seven, Crystal Ball, 1976. Another of my favorite albums from this artist, um, if not my all-time favorite album, Ted Nugent, Free For All. Uncle Ted still doing it today. Um, just a, um, killer album, Dog, Dog Eat Dog, Free For All, Together, Hammer Down, Riding On The Wall, Light My Way, Street Rats, I Love You So I Told You A Lie, and Turn It Up. Uh, yeah. Great. Ted Nugent. Um. Something I didn't know about this until not too long ago. Um, you know, when, when I would get these albums when I was younger, I didn't sit there and devour the liner notes and all that kind of stuff. I just, I just listened to it, right? Put my headphones on and just started jamming. Um, but when I really started listening to them as I got older, I was like, I recognize that voice. But it's not Ted, because you know Ted didn't always sing his own stuff. Um, but uh, see if I can make this work. Okay, so Woo. I don't know if you can see that or not. But vocals, meatloaf, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's the bat out of hell, dude. Um, so yeah. That's why it sounded familiar. So go check it out. 
Number six, free for all. Ted Nugent. Top five. Ooh, here we go. So this is the album that I looked at the date, thinking I was in 77 when I was actually in 76. Once again, the song starts out mellow and then punches you, right? Kansas, Left Overture, of course, the song, Carry On Wayward Son. Um, yeah, I don't, don't <laughs> need to say much more about it, but uh, Carry On Wayward Son, The Wall, What's On My Mind, Cheyenne Anthem. Yeah, just, just a top-notch album from top to bottom. Uh, so once again, Midwest. Kansas, Ario Speedwagon, Seeger, Nugent, all that stuff played heavy, heavy influences in my life. Um, so yeah, Kansas, number five. So number four, this one was probably going to come as a shock to a lot of people. Um... If you've watched my channel or anything, you know that this band is one of my all-time favorite bands. I've got everything this band's done. Um, and I'm talking about Grand Funk Railroad, good singing, good playing. A highly, highly underrated album. As Grand Funk in total is a highly underrated band, okay? Just my opinion. I wish these guys would get over their differences and come back one more time and tour as the original Grand Funk. Have no desire to go see Grand Funk in the um, states that they're in right now, but I would love for Mark and Don to get over their stuff and give the fans what they want, right? Come on, guys. Come back. I would pay mucho dollar to go to go see these guys live for one more time. In fact, I've never seen them live. There's the back. Interesting note about this album. It was produced by the one and only Frank Zappa. Mm -hmm. Not a Zappa fan. But anyway, yep. Some of those guys look like they may have had too much fun, if you know what I mean. Good singing, good playing, number four. So what could that leave for my top three? Well, as you all know, growing up, I was a big Kiss fan. And uh, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think this was the album that started it for me and actually it's probably kiss alive but uh destroyer yeah comic book heroes come to life and play music <laughs> what more could you want right detroit rock city king of the night with time world god of thunder i'm not crazy about great expectations nah uh Flaming Youth, loved Flaming Youth. Still do. I'm not a youth anymore, but I still like it. Um, Sweet Pain, yeah, I could take it or leave it. Shout it out loud. Oh, yeah. Beth, yeah. Overplayed, 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 all that. And Do You Love Me, but yeah. Awesome album, number three. Destroyer, my kiss. So, I'm down to the top two. Can you guess what they are? I had a hard, 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 hard time trying to decide this one. Um, but it is what it is. This list could change two hours from now, right? I had to just put something together to put a video together. Number two, Aerosmith rocks. And yes, it does. Favorite Aerosmith album of all time. I like it better than Get Your Wings. I like it better than the debut. I like it better than um, Toys in the Attic. Yep. Best Earl Smith album ever, in my opinion. Um, Back in the Saddle, Last Child, 
rats in the cellar combination sick as a dog nobody's fault get the lead out lick and a promise and the ballad home tonight not a bad song on this album number two rocks by Aerosmith and so that leaves number one and I think pretty much everybody who's done this this album has come in at the very 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 top if not very close of course I'm talking about debut album of from Boston <laughs> once again not a um, yep I know this album's been through the ringer as you can tell OG but whoever thought albums would come back again right these are all original pressings that I picked up back in the day um, but yeah you know Boston with their little guitar spaceships you know flying all over I was in a music store just a couple last week I think it was and they were talking they ran somebody ran across this when they said I never knew that those were guitars <laughs> I'm like oh man <laughs> where are you people been um, anyway yeah um, more than a feeling peace of mind foreplay long time rock and roll band smoking hitching a ride something about you and let me take you home tonight number one Boston 1976 yeah well I hope you enjoyed that little trip down memory lane um, I know there was a lot of other albums different genres and stuff like that but I pretty much stayed true to my classic rock hard rock metal um, roots um, to me it's just all rock and roll right um, so anyway if you like what you see leave me a comment um, even if you don't like what you see leave me a comment and if you did uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like my channel and uh, so hopefully Steve will do a 1977 I think I heard him say something about that we're getting pretty close to the time where I started not liking music or current music anyway so we'll just see how that goes anyway this has been feel the music talk to y'all later